Yo, yo, this is it. I'm Mr. Fade, and you're listening to Attack of the Beats on illmusic.com. Here we are once again, another five beats, another uh, week of reviews. And, uh, you know, every week I, you know, I don't listen to the whole beat, right? When you, all the beats are set down, I don't listen to the whole thing. I just, you know, preview it really quickly. And uh, the ones I previewed this time, uh, they sound really, really dope, man. So I can't wait to get to this. So first up, we got No Nonsense Beats with Roll Up. Let's check it out. All right, all right. Okay, so that was uh, No Nonsense Beats. We'll roll up. All right, so this one, um, <clears throat> I really like the uh, the keys you got going on. Nice keys. They sound really, really dope. And uh, the thing that took away from that, though, was that low-end part. So that's more or less like a, a uh, Rhodes, I guess, kind of like a Rhodes keyboard or whatever. It didn't sound like an actual bass line. So I think that's what the problem was. But, you know, that plus the fact that it just was out of tune with the keys. Because, like I said, the keys are nice. I think the problem is that low end part, whatever keys keys that is, like like a Rhodes or whatever. Uh, I would do away with that and keep what you have, but get an actual bass note, like actual bass sound, and play that along with the keys. You know, because I find like uh, you know I was doing uh, some beats the other day, and it's just I find like one of the programs I have it has a bass guitar and it shows you the scale, right? It shows you the notes, and it makes a big difference. You know, and especially like since I use Machine, you have it shows you the uh, the chords and all that stuff and and uh, all the harmonies, so you can tell what notes you're playing. So that really really helps. I mean, but you know, above all else, you should just you you know use your ears, you know. So, but I would suggest you go with the bass line, go with an actual bass line, and just have that play that in tune with those with with those keys. Once you get that, it's gonna be a banging beat because the drums are great, man. The drums are really fucking dope. I like that. They smack hard. The 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 low end is really good. The low end kick, I should say. Uh, so I think the main thing is just that that low end key, man. Just uh, change that up because it just it was out of tune. And uh, if you get it in tune, it'll sound really, really good. So, but uh, like I said, the other stuff was really nice. I like that shit. All right. So next up, we got Rod Rock with Warlock. Let's check it out. Thank you. 
All right, all right. Okay, so that was uh, Rod Rock with Warlock. All right, so this one's interesting because I'm listening to it. I'm like, you know, it's not really something I would do. Like, it's not, it just kind of sounds like, I'm not going to say a weird beat, but not a traditional type of beat, let's say. So, but as I'm listening to it, I'm thinking, no, actually, this is a good beat because I think this is a, this is uh, something perfect for an MC. Because that, really, that's what it sounds like. If you really listen to that shit, it sounds like a beat that you just, all you're missing is the vocals, really. Now, I'm not saying it's a great beat, but it's just that it's, it's perfect for an MC. So, uh, with that being said, though, I think um, there's a few things like, you know, you got to be careful with the 808 uh, because it is, you know, it is distorted. I can hear a bit. And then especially when you bring in the kick, when you bring in the drums and you bring in that kick and then it really, you know, you can really notice the distortion. So, so just be careful on that. You know, I've mentioned it numerous times with pe- to people when they're using 808s or just, you know, a lot of uh, heavy kicks and bass or whatever. You know, you got to watch that low end. You know? I mean, it's just a lot of people still do that. I don't know why, but, you know, I mean, just listening here at home, I mean, I, I, I got, you know, I can hear it on the meter. I can see it on the meter, I should say, and it's clearly in the red. So, uh, so just be careful with the low end. But then you got that string part, and I'm not too crazy about it, but it does sound nice. Like, like you know, you have that little part before it. But I would do away with that. But the string part itself, keep it, but do something with it because, you know, you could extend it somehow. You know, you could loop it or something like that. Because, like, towards the end, you had the strings were more extended, but it was it was with some, um, like, these drum rolls or whatever that was. Uh, so I don't know if that's part of the string sample. But if you could do something like that throughout, that'd be nice. Uh, but the main thing is the low end. Just keep an eye on that and stuff because, uh, you know, but, but whatever. But like I said, the, the main thing you got going for you here is that it does sound like a really good beat uh, for a rapper. So, so keep that in mind as you work on the beat and uh, fix it up and stuff. And uh, actually, I'd like to hear it as a complete song. So, All right. Okay, so uh, next up, we've got uh, Slick on the boards with the deceased. Yeah, the deceased. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so that was uh, Slick on the Boards with The Deceased. So this beat here, you know, you got the 808. It's uh, it's it's under control, right? So that's, that's good. I mean, it's under control. It's it's, uh, it's nice and smooth, but it hits hard. And uh, what I really liked about this beat was the mix. You know, it's a good production. You got a good mix going on and stuff. And uh, I, I wouldn't have opened the way you did, though, with, the, with all those snares. Or at least if you do, just keep it short. Uh, because, you know, you could have just dropped in with that synth right away or whatever. Uh, but you know, it was like I said, it's a, it's a good production, a good mix. Uh, just you know, just a few things like that. The snare is a little, little high, a little hard, you know. Uh, but the the um, the vocal snippet you got, it's good. But you know, I mean, I got to keep in mind too. Sometimes, I mean, when people send in beats. I mean, they're good beats. But sometimes I'm like, I don't know, is this a beat for that's meant for an MC, or is this just some instrumental that's being sent in to me? I don't know. So. So in your case, I mean, I'm assuming it's for an MC because that would be really fitting and stuff. But on its own, it does get a little repetitive with that vocal snippet. But I just find overall, even though it's a good production, I just find overall that you could have a little more going on. Like maybe a little, you know, a few more instruments coming in and out or something like that. You know, just a little more life to it. Uh, you know, you got the synth or whatever, but maybe add a little more synth or something. A little more synth, some kind of keys on top. Uh, or even some horns. 
even some nice horns or something like that. Just something, just give it a little more flavor because right now it's just all kind of, you know, like monotone. You know, it's just all kind of there, you know. So just a little bit more life to the beat. Uh, but like I said, overall, the production, the mix, very top notch. I like that shit. So, all right. So next up, we got Stone Flacco with To the Max. Let's check it out. Okay, so that was uh, Stone Flacco with To The Max. Now this one, I mean, and first of all, like, you know, I always tell people, you know, and well, you can see on the website too, you got two minutes to send in the beat, right? The beat should be, you know, no more than two minutes. So in this case, it's just over a minute. I mean, that's okay, but it's just your intro is about half of the beat. So that's why I, I take points off for that or whatever. But uh, it is nice, very smooth beat. Uh, the low end's a little heavy. And... The thing I didn't like though is that I, since it was so short, I would like to have heard if you, you know, like let's say you had to send in a two minute beat, I would have liked to have heard just the beat itself, you know, let's say for the last minute or whatever, and just have the vocals on like a hook or something because the vocals are very smooth, nice sample, whatever. It's just, uh, like I said, it's just, it's too short for me. It's, it's, I would like to have heard like the full two minute version uh, and like an actual production of it. But, Besides that, I mean, the beat itself was really, really nice. Nice, smooth beat. You got nice control of the low end and uh, the drums with the hi-hats. Very nice. So, like I said, it's just the fact that it's, it's so short. You know, I would like to have heard more of it and uh, a little less of the vocals. But uh, other than that, I really like it. It's some dope shit. All right. So next up, we've got the last beat. It's uh, Tom Clark with Welcome to the Circus. Let's check it out. Okay, so that was uh, Tom Clark with Welcome to the Circus. Now, by judging, look, actually, by looking at the title here, Welcome to the Circus, I'm expecting, you know, this type, this type of beat. And that's good because it's uh, like it's a fun, weird type of beat, whatever. And But in a way, it's like I don't know if it should be like that because I'm listening to it. And even though it's it goes with the title, right, it just sounds to me like, like with the first beat, for example, is that it's out of tune. You got parts that are like pretty, you know, pretty much every track's at a tune, let's say. So, uh, I think if you had everything in tune with each other, everything in the right key, the right note, that would open up a whole bunch of possibilities for you. So, right away, you'd hear, you know, okay, this goes with that, this whatever, and then you could just keep building from there. I think that's the main thing. You got the keys, you know, everything sounds nice. I just don't think they really go with each other. That's the main thing. It's like, for example, the snare, you know, the kick and the snare, they sound good, especially that snare, it's like it's a little flat. But I think uh, for this type of beat, the snare actually works. But for the other stuff, like I said, they're good. I just think you really need to get them in the right 
tune with each other. That's the main thing here. Uh, besides that, though, I like the way you you know you put it together and the fact that it's supposed to be like a circus type beat or whatever. But uh, like I said, I think just the main thing is the tune. You know, make sure it's everything's in tune and uh, everything's. Hold on a second here. Hold on, I got somebody at the door here. Hold on. Yeah, false alarm. <laughs> anyway, so, but uh, yeah, I think it's just that you just need to put everything in tune and you'll have a really solid beat there. And uh, like I said, that will open up possibilities and then you'll see, oh shit, you know, I could start building this with that. And who knows what. All right, so uh, that's it for me. I'm Mr. Fade. This is uh, Attack of the Beats. And uh, don't forget to send in your beats. Keep sending them in, uploading them. And uh, post to the forums. Let me know what's up. What's up? What's happening? All right, so uh, my favorite beat this week the winner is, drum roll please. Slick on the boards with the deceased. Let's check it out. <laughs> 